Jamal Emmers, Kusin Ashkabov. Ashkabov, I think that's how you say it. Um, making his debut, 23 and 0. Sitting at minus 120. Jamal Emmers comes back at plus 120. 18 and 6 for him. Over under sitting at two and a half rounds, minus 110 for the over, plus 110 for the under. Uh, this Ash Kebab guy, I mean, he has like three over 3 million followers on Instagram. I don't know if you've checked that out, but it's a big deal guy, in Russia. This guy is known. He is known. And uh, it seems like it was kind of a, a long time coming for him to be in the UFC. I mean, he's he's got two belts in his tapology picture. So, Training out of American Top Team and Tiger Muay Thai. Kind of bounces back and forth. But the guy, it's pretty much all action. I mean, he's, he's a pretty violent dude on the feet. And if he gets you to the ground, he's looking for that sub. So, I mean, he's, he's aggressive. He looks for the finishes. And he's gotten three straight finishes his last three fights. The problem is, he hasn't fought since 2020. So, what does he look like now? What is what is he uh, What has he improved? And... His last fight was in road to WWFC against a guy who's 3-0. and So is this a, a padded record at 23-0? and Or is it uh, you know a fair record? I don't really know. I mean, I went back and watched the fights that were available and pretty much saw what I just told you. I mean, he's aggressive. Maybe he's just that much better against uh, than these guys that he could just go out there and, and be aggressive and he doesn't really feel any sense of, of a threat. But... It's hard to pick against a guy that's never lost. Um, it looks like he's been at the UFC PI for a little bit, and he's getting a lot of, of training in there. His last weigh-in was at Bantamweight, and this one is set to be at Featherweight. So maybe put on a little little muscle in that time off uh, since 2020. For Jamal Emmers, uh, I mean, he's he's kind of been up and down, but it, his losses in the UFC are not bad. I can't really knock him for that. Pat Sabatini lost, lost to Giga Chikadze, but his his win in the UFC, he was a minus 550 favorite against Vince Cachero. So can't really put too much stock in that. Um, his Dana White Contender Series fight was back in 2018. He lost to Julian Arosa via head kick. He does have a win over Corey Sandhagen, which is definitely something to to, you know be proud about. I mean, he beat a guy who's fighting, has fought for the, the interim title. So there's that. He's also beaten Alexander Hernandez. So, I mean, he can beat some pretty top level uh, competition. So, I mean, something to definitely take into account if you're, you're looking to, to, to play him or play against him. But maybe that's why this line isn't very wide. You know, I think I would think, uh, undefeated Russian guy coming in would be somewhat of a big favorite, but Jamal Emmers looks like uh, he's getting the respect, at least somewhat of a respect. I didn't, wasn't necessarily that impressed watching him uh, on film after rewatching a couple fights. He's athletic, he's long, mixes it up, pretty good ground game, um, pretty good takedowns. It's explosive, uh, but at this point, it's like you're gonna say that he loses 23 oh like i don't know yeah. 23 and all russian i just can't really seem to to get there to to take emmers against him i kind of want him because he's probably going to be a really popular pick this week like, yeah yeah yeah. Just be honest people he's see probably, that record and yeah yeah there's probably gonna be a lot of money on him too so i'm like i don't know maybe i want to be in the opposite side uh, but because that i mean i'm at minus 120 it's like it's super playable so i don't know what do you think no, I think it's going to be a close fight. I, I really do. Jamal Emmers making his UFC debut against Gigi Chikadze went all the way to split decision. So you know he can hang on the feet. Um, it's just going to be if, if he can stay off his back in this fight, in my opinion. I mean, you look at this this UFC newcomer. I'm not even going to ask Bob. We're just going to call him Ask Bob. You watch him in some of his tapes in the lower level promotions. I mean, he's got a ton of submissions. He's obviously aggressive can get fights to the ground. But, I mean, Jamal Emmers has submission wins. He's got decision wins. He's got knockout wins. I mean, he is a well-rounded mixed martial artist. So, I'm glad this line is closer than uh, than, I, than I thought it was going to be, at least. I thought, you know, a 23-0 and Russian kid coming in was going to be a minus 250 favorite against Jamal Emmers. And I think the line is closer to where it should be here. 
Um, but again, man, Jamal Embers has hung around with some great fighters and he's beaten some good fighters. Like you mentioned, Corey Sanhagen back in 2017, um, his UFC debut right before COVID in March of 2020, he went to split decision with Gigi, Gigi Chikadze. I can never say his name. Um, you know, lost to, was it select or Pat Sabatini by heel hook? That submission loss does make me a little bit nervous because if Ashkovov comes out there and he is, um, you know, what he's cracked up to be, he could very well find the submission on the ground. Um, but yeah, I think it could be a close fight. Again, it's all just going to come down to who's got the sharper grappling, in my opinion. On the feet, though, Jamal Emmers could do some work against him. I mean, this guy hasn't, if you look at his record, Ashkovov hasn't really fought any outstanding strikers. Um, you watch him in his tape, he's not really fighting any outstanding strikers. So, this one could be interesting. I think a lot of people expect Ashkov to win because of the record 23 and 0. It's super impressive, but I don't think you can count out Jamal Emmers here. If I have to take a pick, I am going to stay on the side of Ashkov because I do think eventually that wrestling will wear Emmers out to the point where he's not dangerous anymore. Um, but if we see a finish in this fight, um, I don't know. I don't know, man. It could go either way. I wouldn't be surprised if this one just grinds out to a decision, to be honest. Really? I'm like, yeah, man, I see it. I'm thinking like these guys, from what I've seen, you know, watching these guys, they fight pretty aggressive. And yeah. when on the feet, like they, they leave themselves open to some shots. The over under at two and a half, like that seems like a, a pretty good price on the under there. Plus 110. That's, that's something to keep an eye on. I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Um, yeah. Maybe look at you know the money spreads and everything, see where the money is. Uh, but yeah, should be a, a, an exciting fight, actually. No, uh, I think so. 